debate and you're on the other. But I wanted to just just to get into on my side and I just question for you what's, why you think that what's your side? Say what your side is. I don't want people to I don't I mean, make assumptions. I'm I'm Jewish, okay, and I'm I'm uh Jewish, I'm Zionist guy. You're Zionist. Um Zionist, okay, that's uh -huh. helpful. yeah. For sure, yeah, big, big, big Zionist, but not you know like Zionist for the real meaning of the word, not the word that it's kind of been turned into over the last couple of years, the real kind of Zionist. And you know the comments are going to pop up for sure, but that's uh, that's well, what's, what is that the real kind of Zionist? Uh, uh, the real kind of Zionist meaning people that were there for Jewish independence, uh, people that were basically the ones that were tired of you know the Jewish people getting pushed around and kicked around and decided to do something about it regardless of what the world thought. Those are the real Zionists. Um, I've studied, I'm pretty well read on all of this stuff. I pretty well read on Herzl, pretty well read across the, across the globe, uh, across kind of the, uh, the gamut of, of what Zionism is. So, you know, there's gonna be debatable things, but I like to base my opinions on what I've read, what, what's been reported at the time. Um, so that's Zionism in my view. Obviously that word's been, Zionist is, is replaced the word Jew, you know, people call people Zionists that are anti-Semites, but it's, it's now, you know, it's a, it's a pig with lipstick on now. It's, it's, it's just, it's a, the word, the word's been, uh, the, the word's been kind of, you know, I don't know what the right word is. Criminal. Well, would, 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 would you, would you not agree though, that that's been the dominant Zionist position? I mean, the, in, in recent years, it's Zionists themselves who say that if you're anti-Zionist, you're anti-Jewish, you're anti-Semitic. So they're the ones- They were right, because it's it's now coming to the forefront. They they saw what was actually happening because these are things they have to deal with every day. That's called foresight. That's, that's seeing what's gonna happen. And I'll be honest with you, man, I'll tell you, as a Jewish person, um, there's the scary part that I, you know, I hope doesn't happen is that we keep you know, telling everybody, yeah, that's anti-Semitic, this is anti -Semitic. At one point, people are just going to start admitting it and saying, "Yeah, yeah but, but I, I do hate." But I'm not. I'm not. Following, I'm not following your logic fully. So you're saying that that in recent years, you know, people have used Zionist as a stand-in for Jewish, and then I said, "Well, yeah, but the people doing that are the Zionists themselves," and you're saying, "Well, that's foresight." So the reason some people I think conflate Judaism with Zionism is precisely because that's exactly what the Zionist project wants you to do, so that you when you crit so that you people don't feel safe or um ethical or don't feel, politics. Don't, don't feel safe mark how many well, examples can no, i no, give no, you let me let me let me let me, let me, let me make let me make the point for you to sure speak. sure uh, so people don't feel safe or ethical challenging anti-zionism because they feel like they will be understood as being anti-semitic or they may actually believe that Zionism and Judaism are the same and that there is something anti-Semitic about challenging a very specific political project, which is Zionism. See that, so, so that's, that's your perspective, right? The way that, you know, growing up, my, my grandmother moved to Israel in 1949. <clears throat> she was brought by Zionists from Morocco uh, on a boat to Spain and then from Spain uh, to Israel with my grandfather, who was an engineer, uh, and and that's what the Zionists are. They're the guys that put Israel together because there was nothing there. They're the ones who started the kibbutzes. When they're you say the there was nothing there, what do you mean? Let me. I, I, don't mean I just have a clear. I don't want to interrupt you. I want you to keep going. I just have. I have a clarifying sure. question. When you say there was nothing there, what do you mean there was nothing there? I mean it was, it was all deserted land. Yeah, it was all deserted uh, land. Even even when the you know the Palestinians, even in the past, there were parts swaths of Israel where there was absolutely nothing going on. I mean, you know that, right? You you believe so? You know that one of the most important sort of networks for for trade for 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 produce um, in Yaffa, for example, orange production in Yaffa was huge long before the, the Zionist movement uh, took over. Okay. Just as one example, um, schools, um, literacy rates in historic Palestine before the Zionist movement, before the first kibbutzes were huge. Literacy um, rates uh, were huge, you're saying? They were, they were at a high yeah. level? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Uh, I, I didn't say the university rates, I said literacy rates and education rates, but- Yeah, sorry, but, I, also, but, I also said literacy. Sorry, keep going. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, sorry I, don't know, I thought you said university. I'm sorry, I misheard you. Um, so yeah, so literacy rates were high. Um, there were there were large amounts of exports going out. 
Um, there was um, significant natural resources that were being engaged. I, uh, there were. F- I, but Mark, sorry, I never said that uh, Israel was one big deserted That's place that the, the Zionists. Exactly what you said. You said there was nothing there. You said there was no, nothing I'm there. Saying, I'm saying there were, and, and if you know the, the the actual percentage of used land in 1948 versus what was barren, uh, there was a lot of empty land there. Oh, yes, yeah. of course. There weren't that many people. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. So you telling me about the people that were there doesn't start helping the conversation. We're we're agreeing. I'm just telling no, no, you. No, no, no. But I'm just looking at but it. One, one of one of the misnomers and one of the pieces of misinformation um, that that is often used was that it was uh, a land without a people and that it was empty and barren, as you just said, and that it, and that and that the, and that Zionists just showed up and and filled in the gap. Parts as of it were to say parts of it were, and that's verified on both right, sides. Right, but, but you're. So. You're mixing two different things, right? I didn't You're say saying... more things. I didn't. I'm, I talk, I talked to you about parts of it. You asked no. me. Okay. You asked me about I, 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 my grandmother. I don't, I don't, we don't. You, we you don't have asked... to get hemmed up there. We don't have to get hemmed up there. No, 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 you, no, no. You, you no, said there was Mark, nothing Mark. there. I, I, I was disagree, I was disagreeing with the claim that there was nothing there. Uh, so saying... I, I said. I said there were parts of it. So that's where I think the disconnect was there. But you okay. had asked initially about my grandmother, right? Right. So my grandmother got to Israel. Yeah. Uh, in in and and I have albums upon albums of the, just the, the simple tent systems that the Zionists had set up for all the Jews. Uh, you know, my my you know my my grandmother and grandfather were not having the greatest time in Morocco, right? Even though Morocco, out of all the Muslim countries, is the most accepting of Jews. Love my Moroccans, but um, it's it, it was still tough, right? So when they came around, they were young. They were 18 years old. Promise of a new life. Promise of something better, where they could be themselves, practice their religion openly. They went there, and I have albums upon albums of, to my point about how you know deserted it was. They were take, they had taken pictures of where they had de- done their tent setup, and there was nothing from like from the eye can see. So just to back up my comment, I've seen real time pictures from those years of that specific area where they were setting up. That's that's and so we're all we're we're kind of going back to Zionism. And what, how you look at Zionism and how a lot of people have been made to look at Zionism because of misinformation, the word has been vilified. Yeah, it has well, it's, and it's it's been vilified. Yeah. You, you must agree with that. You, because, because what people are referring to as Zion, Zionist pig, Zionist, it's become, it's replaced the word Jew, I, I, Mark, at this point. I don't agree. I don't agree. I, I, don't agree. I, I, think, I think there's two, you, you make two claims. One I agree with and one I don't. So I, I, I think many people, myself included, we're critical of Zionism. And, and to be even more specific, when we say Zionism, we mean political Zionism, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and that is different than, than saying, and yes, I think that is vilified. I think political Zionism should be vilified. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't believe that when people say it, they mean Jewish people. I have, in fact, there are many Jewish people who are anti-Zionist. There are many anti-Zionist Jew- Jews. Um, see that they're, in a, they're in a very small uh, minority. You'll see that. They're, 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 there's a growing number of people. Um, I, I, think, I don't think you're wrong to say that there is a large number of people. And if you go to Israel, I mean, obviously, it's everybody almost, right? Uh, with the exception maybe, you know, of, you know, the Tori Karta and, and maybe and, a few. And, and, you know, everyone always likes to put pictures of them and think, like, that they're not 0.001% no, of the they, show. They, they, Kind of they, annoying, you, you could probably fit them in my house, and I don't have a big house. Um, there you go. Yeah. So maybe the, even the back, we won't even need to use the backyard, probably. Yeah, no. You know, but th- that's why I wouldn't use them as 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 the argument. The 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 point is, the Zionist movement. Even as you're talking about your grandmother, right? Yeah. You're talking about 1949, mm-hmm. right? The Zionist movement doesn't begin in 1949. When does when does Zionist movement begin? The, the people who went to pick up my grandmother were Zionists. That's what she. That's what she always referred to them as. Right. Uh, whether a move, whether a movement started to to the world public, or there was actually people behind the scenes building out the country from the inside out, those are still Zionists, right? There's no start, stop. I mean, the people who picked up my grandmother, that's what they were doing. They were doing the actions of a Zionist. Right. Well, no, that's, that, 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 that's not the action of the Zionist, right? See, this well, let, is let, where you and I... Let me, let me explain what I mean by that. Let, this is let, where me, explain, what, let me explain what I mean by that. Long before your grandmother was born, and long before the people who brought your mother, your grandmother over, were on the land, or at least, you know, I, I don't know how old they were. They could be super old people, but... <clears throat> 
it's it was 60 years prior to that right the zionist movement begins in 1882 and it begins with a wave of jewish immigration from europe there was no holocaust yet there was was no hitler hadn't risen to power yet there was ugly anti-semitism no doubt everywhere and I, I think if you went back another 50 years you'd find ugly anti-semitism you went back 100 years 200 300 400 we go back to inquisition we could go back there's never been a moment where jews haven't been um persecuted so i don't that's not in dispute for me here's the issue though the issue was never the immigration no one is mad that that Jewish people immigrated to historic Palestine. The, uh, the frustration is that it was a colonizing project. Now, you talk about, you've read Herzl. If you read Herzl, you know that Herzl himself said that this was a colonial project. You know that Jabotinsky himself acknowledged that this was a colonial project that, would only, that could only be successful through violence and through containment and acknowledged that the Palestinian people would fight back because any people would fight back, but that they had to build a full kind of iron cage around them. And so the issue here is not Jewish immigration. Jews have always been in, in, in Palestine. There's, there's been a continued Jewish presence before the beginning of, of, the, um, of, uh, of the Zionist movement. There was a Jewish presence after, there will be Jewish presence afterward. That's not in dispute. The issue is, is that as, as, as Jewish immigration came, particularly after, uh, you know, at the beginning, after World War I, I would say, um, what you also saw was the dispossession of the Palestinian people. What you saw was land not being accessible to Palestinians anymore, jobs not being accessible to Palestinians anymore, leadership roles not being accessible to Palestinians anymore. And, 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 and so, as far as, why, why was that happening, you think? You think that was just happening because everybody wanted to live peacefully? Do you think that terrorist attacks in Israel started in uh, 2001? There have been 10,000 terrorist attacks in Israel. No one ever talks about those. Like, you know, I... I don't understand. I, how, how, was that related, able, how, how was that related, how was that related to, put, to what I just said? Just help me understand. I'm just asking you to connect the dots for me. I just pointed out how Zionist waves came over and took over land that Palestinians had, and you said there's terrorist attacks. How are those two things connected? First of all, the, the, so, so by saying what you're saying, you're completely discounting any kind of UN partition plan. You're completely discounting. When, any when, of I, the hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down. When was the UN partition plan? The UN partition plan was in '67. No, 1947. 47. So, sorry, so I'm 47. talking about 1910. 1914. World War One is 1914. So I no. So no. I didn't bring it, the UN partition plan. Didn't have anything to do with what 1914. Why? Because it hadn't happened. It wouldn't happen for another 33 years. So again, I'm talking about the wave of Zionist immigration that came over and took Palestinian land and dispossessed Palestinian people 30 years before the partition plan. The partition plan so they never was an attempt. Land. So so they they never bought land from them, right? That's a lie. Is that a, no? Some people did buy land. Some people did buy land. So some of them did buy land, right? Yeah, that's not in dispute. I never said it. We didn't. So, so some of them did buy land, and so, and and we and we agreed earlier that a lot of the land was vacant. So there's two little two little things there. Yeah. Yeah. The the issue that that's not in dispute. I mean, that's sort of a straw man. What what I'm I wouldn't what I'm talking straw man, but I'm just trying to give you reasons as to why. I mean, you're you're talking as if Israel just came in and bulldozed everybody over and just started killing people. I, I mean, you know... It's, I didn't say that. When did I say that? I didn't say that at all. Then he came in and unlawfully took, you know, all types of land, right? I mean, Actually, I, I didn't even say... I, I didn't even say that. That's another... That you're, you're arguing with points I'm not making. Repeat what you said. Sorry, sorry my fault. I'm not a, I'm not a Harvard-educated debater. No, no, it's not... Bro. I'm not being a Harvard-educated debater. It's a, you're coming in with talking points that you think I'm going to make, and you're disputing the points that you think I'm going to make instead of hearing what I'm actually well, you saying. Up up getting to where I think you're going to go, so it's no, fine, but go ahead. No, what, what, I, what, I, what I'm saying is, is first of all, for, I mean, there's multiple things we could talk about. I hadn't even gotten to that point yet, but the, the bigger point here is that, and, and we can fast forward if you want. I'd love to fast forward because obviously, okay. you know, would you acknowledge that the formation of the Israeli government could only happen with the Jewish majority? Yes. So then you would then have to acknowledge that the only way you get a Jewish majority is to expel Palestinians. I can 
acknowledge that the Jewish people wanted to make a government and that most probably the Palestinians wanted no part of that, the same way they haven't wanted a part of anything else. But when, when, that, when, when, when were they asked to be a part of the government? At what point when, when, do you, when do you know if they were or weren't? You don't, wouldn't know that. Do you know that? Yeah, you of course I know that. that. How do you know that? Be because the Jewish leadership said they didn't do it. Are you, do you think the Jewish leadership was lying? I want to know where you saw I'm, that. I'm, 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 I'm I want to know where you saw it. Right now you said it. I want to know okay, where you so, saw it. So let's start with the Balfour Declaration of 1917. Let's not. Let's start with what you just said. When, when that, do you, that is, when that do you is, know? I, that, how that do you is. know? How do you know that there was a, that there was a, a sit down, and and they didn't ask them if they wanted to be part of the government, and they refused the same way they refused fifteen other things that you and I could go through now that you have no other reason but to accept I, all the refusals. That I, the think you're, I think you I think you I think you I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm saying that a Jewish state, by definition, means that to be a citizen of the state, you have to be Jewish. And, That's what and, 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 so, so explain to me, explain. And, 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 and the construction of a Jewish state, as you acknowledge, can only happen with a Jewish majority. How many because Arabs live in Israel? And I know this is too much fast forwarding, but I mean, if that were the case, again, how many Arabs live in Israel today, uh, Mark? How many? 20, 20, 20, anywhere, but depending on which, demo, which, which census you look Are at, anywhere. Let me, let, let me Are answer your question. They Are they Jewish? Or, I'm just asking. Are it's they who Jewish? Jewish? What do you ask? Are the, 1.6 million Arabs that live in Israel today, are they Jewish? No, I never said they were. Okay, but you just, you know, you talked about declarations from years ago saying that, you well, know. No, 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 you're, you're jumping. You specifically asked me when did you, I, I said, you said, when did this happen, right? You asked that question, correct? Sure. So then I answered it by saying 1917. I started with 1917 to answer your question of when. You asked when, which is a which is a request for a time period, and then I offered. And then we said we were going to fast forward, and then I thought that's what we so, were doing. But okay. So 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 we can fast forward. We can go back there. But here's the here's the here's the either way. Here's the point. The the one the the only way that there can was would be a majority of Jews in Palestine, in is if. Others were expelled. 700,000 were expelled between 1947 and 1949. That's a historical fact. Okay. So that's part of that. So, so the only way you could have a Jewish state is by dispossessing Palestinian people. Forget about land for a minute in terms of land rights. Forget about the, the land ownership systems, which, which, which were different in the early part of the 20th century or early part, even the 19th century. Forget, forget about the Jewish National Fund. Forget about... Um, the Balfour deck. We can figure out about all the things you don't want to talk about. I um, I, mean, I could no. talk about those things, but it, 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 I, I also it, want to talk. I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. That's, that's, that's what I said. That's what I said. I pushed him to the I side and said, "Get to like." I want to kind of get to today, to be quite honest. But we can, you know what I mean. I didn't want to go all the way. This, you study this. You make a lot of money doing this. I'm in software, bro. I know. You know, well, not. I, I know enough. Because I, because I know you're, enough you're, to be dangerous. I know enough to be dangerous. I have skin in the game. I've got family there. Obviously, I have okay, a lot you, of ties to the I didn't know enough to be in the game. Remember, you told me to stick to Rosa Parks and civil rights. I what said, was that? Before, you told me I didn't know enough. You said stick to civil rights. You said stick to Rosa Parks. No, no. I talk, I, you were talking about once. You made one specific comment that was factually incorrect. No, that's not true. That's not, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. I'm not going to let you say something that's not true. Everybody, go to Google. Search the exchange. What I said was, I'm going on CNN to discuss what's going on in Gaza. You responded by saying... Stick to Rosa Parks. That's right. a fact. Okay. So, so I mean, you're you're just wrong about that. Okay. So did you, did you had like one of your your people send you that right no, now? No, to, before we came on, I googled our exchange. Love, sure you're gonna love that. No, I, That's great. I, I I googled our I I did a search of our exchanges before I agreed to come on to right. make sure you hadn't said anything racist or anything uh, anti-Semitic or that you were a troll or a bot I, because I, I didn't know you. I've never seen your face before. And that was the first thing you said to me back in 2014. You also told me that I'd never been to Israel before. So you told me to stick to no, black I people. Asked you, I asked you if you ever been to Israel. No, no, you, no, 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 you didn't. No, the, no, the, you, diversion, the diversion that you're taking now, I'm, I'm no, not no, okay. No, no, no. We, 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 can, we cannot, we cannot no. talk about it. We can no, no, talk about it. But, but let's be clear. How is the right now to bring up a tweet from 2014? We're talking about real war events. And what you want to do is bring up a tweet from 2014, bro. Are you are you serious right now? Is that what is that is that what we're doing? Is that what you're doing, bro? 2014, 10 years ago, a tweet that I made while we're talking about 
you know, the, the, the death of, can, of can I ask you a question? Can I, can I ask people, you a question about that? The most can I ask you a question about that? Listen, Let's talk now. The most complex geopolitical situation going on in the world. Mm -hmm. And Mark Lamont Hill wants to bring up a tweet from 10 years ago. What hmm. the mm is can going on in my life? There's, if I said if I if I had said something anti-Semitic ten years ago, would you would you say I, we can't? If I said now, something, I would admit not now, bro. I wouldn't have <laughs> now. Okay. Why, then why change the subject. Now? I was mid-sentence, and you brought up a tweet from ten years ago. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. That's that's not what happened. Oh, okay. Uh, there's you, how many people on this line? Four hundred of them. They all saw. You 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 you. you, you just bro, acknowledge. Heard on my name while we're trying to have a talk. Hold on. Like you could have waited till later on, bro. Well, Honestly. Oh, hold on, slow down, slow down. I didn't throw dirt on your name. I literally quoted your words. And you initially said that you didn't say it. The and timing it's there. was a little suspect. Oh, well, let's, of the, of let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Let's move on. But can you I, acknowledge I, you shouldn't have said that? You know, move on. Move on. I mean, you, you feel like I, that was... Okay, yes or no. That, do you want to continue the conversation or do you want to stop the conversation? You, you look, he, here's, here's, here's do like you want what to continue I, the conversation or do you want to stop I'll continue the conversation, but here, here's where I'd like to, to... Here's where I'd like this start off point to be right now. There's 15 million Jews in the world, okay, and, and 1.6, 1.7 billion Muslims and, and the rest of whatever it is. And I just, like, the, 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 the viciousness and how fervent people are about this conflict and this conflict specifically and, 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 with, and just taking all the factual information that's right in front of their eyes and pushing it to the side... Like I still haven't had a I still haven't had a pundit really look into the fact that Hani is worth four billion dollars. I don't even need to list out ten. Let's just talk about that one thing. The guy's got four billion, bro. He's worth more than anyone we know in this world. Where'd that money come from? How does Hamas have a handler in the U.S. playing with seven hundred million dollars a year? and investing it into the S&P 500. How is that a possibility when your people are living in squalor? How does that work? So I guess my whole question is, it's yeah, a loaded question? question. It's a loaded question, but why do people, why is this the social activism morality checkpoint of the world? I could name you 15 other conflicts where 20 more people have died and they don't get 1.1% of this coverage. Why is it when I could talk to you about Syria and Yemen and all the other things that in 10 years have a higher death count than everything that's happened since 48, okay? In 10 years, a higher death count. Like, remember what I said. Like, I'll repeat it again for everyone following. 10 years, more people died than since the creation of Israel on both sides combined. Yet no one is... is there are not 250,000 people in the streets of London. There are not, the whole world is not up in arms. People are not being openly anti-Semitic. Why is it, Mark, and again, I'm, I'm, I don't want to throw so much on you, but it's like, I see all the facts, but it's almost as if there are these glasses that just everyone puts on, and, and, and whether it's a deep hatred for Jews, which as a Jew, we all know exists out there, but... It's just, it's astounding to someone like me when there, there's, you know, there's why so much, and I'm not, it's not what aboutism, and I'm not trying to deflect it sounds like. by anything. Right. I'm just asking why you think this gets so much play versus everything else in the world that gets a fraction. So, so, so what here, happened here. in the Congo? Talk to me about Nigeria. Talk to me about Ethiopia. Talk to me about what they're doing to them over there. Muslims killing Muslims, no news. We don't hear about it. So, that's that's i'll stop there and i'll let you go and thank you for letting me ask all that i appreciate that so in 2000 in 2003 we were marching in the streets all around this country for to oppose the iraq war um we were devastated as a country that George Bush got us into um, a war on false pretenses. Um, That's also a war that your home soil is involved in. So I don't know that I put that in the same bucket. But, well, hold, but see, but this is again, you're moving the target. You specifically named Iraq and Syria. And now I'm responding and answering no, I Iraq. Said Iraq. I said Syria, I said Yemen, I said just, you know, people that have four or five, six hundred thousand death, death counts versus uh, the United you know. States. The United States is the biggest supporter 
and funder of Israel. We provide Israel with weapons. We provide Israel with defense systems. We provide Israel with we, with more money than any other country in the world. And we're and Israel's the biggest recipient of all of our of, of our of our military support. I really want to also let me smart, finish. Let me finish. You guys, guy. you, you, you hold on, hold on, hold on. You asked me a question. How much of a one-way street do you think you you really think that's a one-way street? Do you know what Israel does for the U.S.? I do. do you and, and, I, listen to me. I do. Okay. Listen to me. So, so then listen saying that, you, you, hold on. You asked a five-minute question, said okay, I'll let I'm you sorry. answer. Right. I apologize. And, and I gave I a thirty. I gave thirty seconds, I'm and you sorry. cut me off. Sorry. Going. My my. Back. But, Please keep on. But but what you seem to miss respectfully is that the point you're trying to make that you think I miss, even though I didn't miss it because I'm an expert on this, um, is that. Yes, the United States does a considerable amount for Israel. The United Israel does a considerable amount for the United States. It's a bi-directional relationship. They have a very strong symbiotic relationship that benefits both parties. The United the Israel is the United States' most important ally in the Middle East. It is its outpost. It is someone with whom it, exchange, it exchanges uh, intelligence technologies. Uh, we could go on down the list of reasons why it's important, but that's. But you're only making my point by bringing that up. Remember, my point is the United, the, as a U.S. taxpayer, I have an even deeper investment in what happens to Israel in the United States because it's not Yemen and it's not Iraq and it's not Sudan and it's not Cambodia and it's it, you get what I'm saying because because we have a we have a nickel in that dollar that's far more valuable than in any other country. But the point that I was making before you interrupted me was that Iraq, 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 um, we were in the streets. We took to the streets. We protested. We chanted. We marched. We hated George Bush. People still want George Bush to be a war criminal uh, for that. Just today on Twitter, people were applauding the Iraqi uh, reporter that threw a shoe at George Bush. What president in American history has had a shoe thrown at him by a foreign government and, and his own people applauded? My point is, is that it, it's simply not true to say we weren't outraged. The whole anti-war movement in the United States and the peace movement was centered around what? An opposition to what was happening in Vietnam. Yeah, but now you're going back even further. Talk to me about the last 20, like, you know, talk to me about the last 20 years. I'm, 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 I'm giving you context. I understand that you okay. want to be begin everything even in iraq man mark how okay many so, 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 let's, so, so let's so let's so let's so let's go back again so let's not go back no. let's go like again no, I, don't, I don't i don't mean let's reverse the time i'm saying let's I'm return to where we were worldwide mark I'm, ta I'm not talking to you just about what's happening in u.s colleges specifically the ones that are getting money from qatar very crazy another thing if, to discuss about if, the if top you, five if, uh, endowments from qatar or the top five schools that are, have the most anti-semitism if crazy if, stuff happening and, and i'm talking to you about worldwide never mind this other crazy I'm, stuff that's also I'm, I'm, I'm talking worldwide too but the united states is the biggest most influential powerful empire in the world and so i'm not going to talk about the u.s with the same uh respectfully with the same uh significance as i would My talk question about. Was about the world Mark. yes why is the world and i'm answering okay. your question question you, you may not like the way i'm answering it but it's my answer sure. I'm, I'm beginning with the united states but if you were to look at the uk france germany they also responded to the iraq war the same way if you look at ukraine not at this volume come on if, if you look at ukraine the entire world for the last two years prior to october 7th was obsessed with addressing russia's invasion of ukraine the un resolutions the special rapporteurs the human rights organizations. There, it, 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 if, and if you don't believe me, you can even look at the uh, studies that have been done on media, on headlines and media representations. But you know that war is still going on, right? Let, let, but please, you, you know that I wasn't finished, right? So let me just finish. So, so again, you, you made a claim that, that, no, that nothing else is getting this level of attention globally. And I'm saying that that's not true. I also want to, that's just factually untrue, but here's something else that's factually. not true. You know, but let me finish. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Also, more children were killed in the first week in Gaza, and certainly the first month in Gaza. I just don't have the exact number in front of me, but more children were killed. It depends on whether you count well, who's under the rubble, but then all of Ukraine in a year. So it's not just that other countries got the attention. It's also, it's also that the gravity of this is extraordinary. What about the gravity of 
October 7th. Like, it's funny how you don't met. You mentioned the result of October 7th, but you, like, why because were they in the rubble? Why were, but why were they because in the rubble? Because you asked me. Because why you were asked they in the rubble? Hold on. No, no, hold on. But this, is, this becomes a sleight of hand. No. No, no. You ask me about why the world is responding to what's happening. I answer that question. What I'm saying this, is, this, why, this is what you just what did. Let me, is, let, 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 me, let me explain something to the people watching. Okay. This is what it feels like you just did to me. You said, um, Mark, why is cancer research so intense? And I say, well, because there's all these forms of cancer and blah, 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 blah. And you go, but you didn't say a word about AIDS. You hate AIDS. And it's like, well, no, you asked me about cancer. Mm -hmm. You just asked me about the world's you response. To what's happening. Let me, no, 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 I'm not done. You asked me what happened to the, why is the world responding this way to what's happening in God? Yes. I didn't say pre-October 7th, on October in 7th, or after October 7th. It, though. It, it need, it, in your explanation, October 7th needs to be a part of what you're talking about, or else you're just taking the story and cutting it in half, which I, I, I don't appreciate. Cut anything in half. I answered your question, which was, why is the world responding more to this than that? Now, if you're asking me about October 7th, my answer to you is mm -hmm. um, Hamas's actions on October 7th, in my opinion, mm -hmm. were a violation of international law. They were a war crime. They were a violation of Islamic law. Um, and in my estimation, and there are many debates about this, but in my opinion, and about you know, what? what I'm about oh. to say, you can't be outraged about the thing that I didn't say yet. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Um, but just, just as a matter of... of, of, of engaging someone sure you might want to let them finish before you before you act outraged by what they said because i haven't said it yet anything. okay i'm sorry you're right when it's i just it's, so, I'm not so, so, so so there are many debates about this right um but from where i sit there is never i never approve of the killing of innocent people mm -hmm. under any circumstances um of innocent people i never believe that civilians should be indiscriminately targeted. I understand that there will be times where in war, um, there will be collateral damage, there will be casualties. I understand that. But that's different than intentionally targeting um, civilians. So I, as I've said since- Intentionally that, targeting civilians. You asked me about Hamas, right? That's what oh, Hamas, about, right? yes. Oh, now okay, you're okay. You were talking. Now you're okay, you, you're, yeah, you're not outraged. Oh, okay, I, cool. Listen, so, one's a terrorist army and one, anyways, continue. Well, we a debate about that but no need um we have enough on our plate so Mark. we're good so when hamas does the things that happen on october 7th which again i i begin from saying are a war, war crime a violation of international law we're not in dispute you have the tone, have the tone of someone that's about says with all due respect and then they're about to say something no i have the, anyways continue the tone of someone <laughs> who's measuring his tone so that we don't continue to go all over the place. Yeah. Um, um, I'm saying that that does that allows for self-defense in a response. Okay. Israel's re response has exceeded the boundaries of international law in terms of proportionality and and being sufficiently discriminate in the targets. More than Almost 30,000 people have been killed on record, not to count the 8,000 under the rubble. How many of those 30,000 are fighters, Mark? It depends on who you ask. Right. Um, so there so are... that 30,000 number is not a real no, number, right? If we're going to talk about a real number, they're people. No, 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 fighters in, are people. In, okay. Fighters are people. Okay, fantastic. Innocence, right? That's who, because we're not talking about the Israelis. Okay. So, so, when we talk about innocence, so the duct already to, to just be at a clean slate, Mm -hmm. Knock off the number of dead soldiers, Hamas fighters, from your number, and then start your sentence again. No, I'm saying 30,000 people have been killed. Some of those people are fighters. I don't disagree with you. I didn't but say anything that was unfactual. For the fighters. What did you say? You mourn for the fighters. Your, 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 heart, your heart hurts that, they, that so they're dead. You realize that you just made a statement that doesn't represent anything I just said. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm saying what I think. I'm not claiming you said anything. No. I'm asking you a question. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to allow you to be dishonest. You said so as if you drew a conclusion based on what I just Sir? said. Sir? And I didn't say that. So, no, that's not what happened. Here's what I am saying. Mm -hmm. I'm not making a, an emotional plea here mm -hmm. one way or the other. What I am telling you is even if we go by what the Israeli government says. Sure. Um, um, because governments aren't honest. No government is honest. I agree. Uh, both on uh, all governments, including Israel. So, I agree. So 
if if Israel's numbers, which is somewhere around twenty percent, would you would you would you agree that Israel says about twenty percent? No, at this point it's more because what, Hamas has supposedly five thousand fighters. What percentage would you twenty percent only seven grand? Well, hold on. What percentage would you say of the thirty thousand that have been killed are fighters? Do I have a stethoscope? Am I in Gaza right now? I don't know who's dead and who's not dead. I'm not Hamas sure what a stethoscope. Hamas doesn't, Hamas doesn't tell you. Hamas doesn't, you don't know who's I said dead. The, I, said what, I said the Israeli government. I'm asking you what the Israeli government is asking. I don't know. I, you, I, that's, this is why I'm talking okay. to the experts. So, so now I'm going to go back to what I said. That the Israeli government is estimating about 20%. Not so, you said, I know for sure it's more than 7,000. That is for sure. That number was from weeks ago. You're completely wrong on that. That all That money... Whatever you want, bro, that you're wrong on that, that it's over 10, no matter what. Over 10 what? That, over 10,000 dead Hamas fighters at this point. Over 10, if not more. Let's say you're I, right. I, you, I, no, I just, I, okay. Let's say you're right. That would mean that 20,000 people are killed who are not. Right. And, and you, you just did what I asked you to do 30 seconds ago is start by saying the real things. No, Don't that, talk that, to that me is the real 30, thing. 30,000 is a much bigger number than 20,000 when 10,000 yeah. of those people are terrorists. Again, I don't you agree with I that. The, the, the difference is 30 seconds ago, I was, wasn't relying on your hypothetical made up unsubstantiated number. Of but, I'm what? Saying, I, but I'm saying I will do that for the purpose of this intellectual Even if we, exercise. If we go with your number, it's 23,000. You're still misrepresenting the war. Do you understand I'm what I'm saying? You, you, Even if we go with your number of 20%, which is 7,000 dead fighters, that still means you should have started your sentence with... It'd be 6,000. It'd be 6,000, it'd be, it'd be 6, 000, but 6,000. No, sure. no. It, there's 35,000 fighters. 20% of that's 7,000. No, 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 no. Okay? 30,000 30, are... No, you're, you're missing... I think we're talking about two different numbers. I'm talking about the percentage of people dead who are fighters. Yes, 30, me too. 30,000 are dead. Okay, so see, there'd be 6,000 fighters said. in that. Okay, I thought you meant out of Hamas's 35,000. And that's why I corrected you to say that I wasn't okay, saying that. You insisted that so, I was. Okay, so big whoop. We're changing the number now from 23K to 24K, which is still how you should have started your sentence. You can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. That's not. You can't count. If, if the people that aren't as well educated about this as you knew, the people who have no connection to Palestine or Israel whatsoever knew that they're tweeting 30,000 dead. If they knew that 6,000 of those dead were Hamas fighters, they would tweet 24,000 dead and not 30. And what I'm saying, I, I, I never got to make a claim about anything about the 30,000 because we, we, we got diverted with this. But let, let's, let's get back to the target, to, back to the point, right? Um, every hour, two Palestinian women, two Gazan women are killed. Mothers are killed, excuse me, to be very specific. 1% um, of the overall child population of Gaza has been killed since October 7th. That's a fact. These are all just facts. Again, and then we, we can go back to what you said with Destiny about, and the conversation he had with you about what a child is and what that's defined as. And if a 16-year-old with an AK-47 is a child, you said it was. I vehemently disagree with you on that. If you go to Rwanda and all the places where they have child killers, they've got... Anyway, we don't have to we, get we, into we, that. And we, and, and, and I could also push, and I could also say, push back against the argument. Destiny, did you not say on Destiny's show? I'm, I'm not disagreeing. That, that 15, I'm, 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 I'm not having a, a debate with, you. with A 15-year-old fighter or a 15-year-old trained is still a kid who's got a gun in his hand. But you said that's still a kid. So when you say to me kids and you give me facts about one kid, again, let's, can we please narrow down the numbers to actually say what they are instead of just ballooning I, things up? A 15-year-old with a gun? To me, I'm sorry. That's not a kid. He's trying to kill can, my can cousin. I, He's trying to kill my cousin. Can I, can I just interrupt you for one sure. second? If you look at the conversation with Destiny, which I didn't bring up, you did. So you're, again, you're arguing, you're having an argument with a conversation I didn't have with you. I didn't say a 16-year-old with a gun. We said a 16-year-old with a rock. That was what we were disagreeing Sure, about. sorry, a rock. Okay, no. Rock. That was on top. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pause you. You just said about miseducating an audience and having them get the wrong impression do you think saying that I've defended a kid with a machine gun AK-47 is comparable to me defending a kid with a rock? Can you, can you acknowledge that that's a gross mis gap in, in representation of what I said? Can you, can you now explain the rest of the context about where the kid was with the rock, what he was doing, and what happened right yeah. after? Please? What I, what, I said, what I said was a kid, I don't believe that a kid with a rock No, 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 no. What was the situation where the kid got shot with the rock? Throwing what happened? Throwing the rock. Throwing the rock. Of course. No, no, no. But, 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 but who was behind him? And was it not filmed immediately? And were there not paramedics on site 
ready to take footage and you agreed to that with Destiny yesterday I'm or not, whenever you were wrong with them. That's what you're talking about. No. Honestly, I'm not sure what you're talking about now. I'm not disagreeing with you. I just don't understand. I'm not following what you're saying. I'm just saying it's You were the one giving the interview. If you can't follow uh, anyway, no, 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 no. it's fine. You you're said not, you're not, you're you're not, not listening to me. You're not listening to me. What I'm saying is what you just described to me, I didn't comprehend. I'm asking you to restate it so that I can understand it. That's all I said. I'm not I, I, running I, from it. I didn't understand. I didn't follow what you just said. It all started because you gave me a fact about the amount right, let, of children and it's whole let's not get started let, let, let's jump back let's jump back to the main point you, you cannot israel at this point mm -hmm. is engaging in acts that are illegal under international law you you you, you absolutely cannot blow up a hospital you absolutely today i'll give you which an example they, which one did they blow up uh, let me just you're gonna at some point have to let me just make a statement and then respond okay um just today um, according to witnesses and footage that has been verified, I can we, I can send you the footage, or you can go to Al Jazeera and see it for yourself. Um, uh, hundreds of people were leaving or running toward a a caravan, a humanitarian caravan okay. in Khan Yunus, and they were shot. Horrible. It's but it's not just horrible; it's illegal. It, it, illegal things are often horrible, and vice versa. Most of the right. time, they are. Right. right. So. So if you, when you say you want to talk about what's happening now, the people who are dying now aren't just dying from incidental contact. They're not just dying from collateral damage. There are people who are being unfairly and illegally targeted by Israeli soldiers. There are people who are being is unfairly, um, uh, 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 oh, their homes have been unfairly targeted by Israeli military operations. And part of the problem, as I've said before, is that even what is defined as a Hamas fighter or a Hamas affiliated person is so broad and so loose, which always happens, which always happens in the Middle East, where we say, well, if you're 16 and a, and a fighting age and you've gotten training, then you're Hamas, and then we can just show, we can blow up your house, or your Al Qaeda or your the Taliban. We've seen this everywhere. Um, well, I mean, we, what do you think the 16 year old turns into at 19? But anyways, it's fine. But continue. Yeah, but you can't. Going kill somebody at 16 because you think they're going to be bad no one said they did again this is just something that you're throwing into the argument I, again I right and, I, and, I, and i'm responding to, to, i'm responding no to what you said i'm responding to what There's you no said that's what i said it's it's fine continue what you were saying uh, you know I, well, like and I, i'll just tell you well let, let me ask you a simple question let me ask you a basic I one, question do you think, i have one thing ahead, i need please. to say okay like please. this what, what what the outside world doesn't understand is that this isn't a response there's no more response times anymore. What do you mean? It's over. It's over for Hamas. It's over ter people in Israel living in terror. They won't deal with it anymore. There's been 10,000 terror attacks in the last 20 years. People don't talk about them. Oh, you're going will back 20 not years. happen anymore. So where, you're, where, where, you, where, where I want to impart some knowledge on you from a Zionist, from a Jew, from, from a person who, who's thinking about Israel all the time, you keep calling it a response. This isn't a response anymore. Anymore. This is the end for Hamas. And once Hamas is gone and the ideology is gone, and I don't want to hear about they're going to grow up and they're going to, because, you know, they could have done the same thing in Germany that never happened. When there, I don't know what you're saying. Sunny, I don't understand. There, there are sunnier days ahead, Mark, in the Middle East, okay? Those sunny days can happen with Hamas. They can't, they can't happen with the PA, okay? Mahmoud Abbas is less liked than, uh, than a Jew, okay? They all hate him there. So it can never happen with him. So other countries have to step in, guys, people that had part of the accords, whether it's Bahrain, whether it's, you know, there's, there's businessmen that are willing to invest billions of dollars to turn Gaza into what it should have been years ago. But there are sunnier days ahead. Those days don't exist with Hamas. Let me ask you a question. So, so let, let me ask you a question about what you're saying. This is, that's it. Let me ask you a question. How, how old is Hamas? Uh, Hamas from the 80s, I believe, right? right. So. Why didn't, why wasn't Israel able to give a, why, why wasn't there peace or a Palestinian state or justice Mark, before there have been, Mark, there have been 20 different Hamases. They just wear different masks. Black September, the PLO, there's a ton of them. It's not because they're called Hamas that they're not terrorists working with, you know, living in, and, and creating sleeper cells within Palestine and Israel. Don't, please don't give me that what argument. Are, That's not going to. Yeah, I didn't make an argument. I asked you a question. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying you're talking about, you're talking about. I'm talking about terrorists, okay? You want is to talk it, about Hamas? Let me ask you another question. Yeah. Then. 
And please understand, when I ask you a question, I'm just asking a sure. question. You take my question, it, it, assume what you think I mean by it, and then start arguing with a point I never made. And usually you don't have my point right. So just just take my question in good faith. Well, I'm really okay. ask, please assume that I'm just asking a question for clarity. And then I, I, when I make a point, you'll know. Um, has there ever been a Palestinian leadership that isn't a terrorist group in your mind? No. <laughs> okay. So oh. then... The Palestinian look. I'm 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 38 years old. So for as long as I've been around, uh, that's all I've been accustomed to, and that's all I've seen. So, so, so this begins this begins the problem for me. Here's where you'll get now what I think. So you I, don't have to guess. Now I I mean it's fine, and I and you you'll have answers for me now, and you have you had answers in the holster ready no. for me on Palestinian well, I don't, government I, that were not terrorists, no, but but I mean, it's not that, that, again. That's not where I'm going at all. Just relax. We're having a conversation. You don't have to guess what I'm doing or have a meta analysis of what you think I'm doing. Just let's just have a conversation. Because again, every time you guess, you guess wrong. No, I've been, on, what I'm, I've been on. I've been on the money a few times. It's okay, Mark. Sure, you, fine. You're on the money a few times. You just that means you just change. No, soon, you just no, listen to me. Change. Listen to me. I have no desire to convince you that Palestinian groups are not terrorist groups or to name some that aren't. That wasn't where I was going at all. You're wrong. This is where I was going. The problem is. What I was going to say was the problem is that if you regard all Palestinian groups as terrorists, but then there can, then there can never be a space for a diplomatic solution, because even when groups are read as non-terrorists, even when the Israeli government acknowledges the PLO, which they did, you're saying they are terrorists. The, the Israeli government didn't say that. They needed to get stuff done. That's fine. Okay. Um, they said that they wanted to negotiate with them. They said that they recognized the PLO is the only uh, representative body of the Palestinian mm -hmm. people. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what the letters of mutual recognition were mm -hmm. um, prior to the Oslo Accords. Right. When all of those things happen, um, there's still no peace. There's still no justice. And so part of what I think we have to do is not just say who, who's a terrorist but rather ask what are pe people because what you're calling terrorism not all of it let me be clear some things are terrorism but much of what you're calling terrorism based on the, the people you've called terrorists take Hamas off the table for a minute take Hamas okay off the table. that's kind of hard to do they're kind of the elephant in the room bro what do you mean to take Hamas off the table well again <laughs> Well, well, again, Hamas has only been in control of Gaza since 2006. Okay. You yourself a moment ago said, let's go back 20 years. That's what you said. Sure. And, and so I'm saying, even if we go back those 20 years, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. let's go to 2004. Sure. You, the 20, I'm just using the numbers no, no. you gave. Well, that's perfect. Let's do that. Right. We are now. Just two, I'm just, I'm letting, no, I'm, I'm letting you know what I'm going to say. As soon as you start talking to me about this, I'm going to name you all the terrorist attacks that happened in the late 90s and early 2000s when Hamas wasn't around. So just I'm giving you a little forewarning. If you're going this way that I think that, you might be going. I'm, I'm going. OK, just listen. Sure. See, the problem is if you're only thinking about what you're going to say next, as you've just did, told me and not actually hearing what I'm saying, then we can't actually get anywhere because you're not actually engaging me. You're engaging what you think I am. I'm. I'm I'm not being coy. I'm, I'm being transparent and telling you what I think. I've just heard a lot of the rhetoric from a lot no, of no, different no, no. people, so I'm used to no, You're right. Things. From other people. Yes, you're right. So you're, and, not, and they're right. not you. You're right. I'm sorry. You're, so you're debating me no, to debate no. those people. I, I, I get it. No, I, I got that. You're not, you're not just anybody. That's no, but it's not that I'm not just anybody. It's just, I'm, I'm just not saying the things you think I'm going to say. Um, my point was, and I get sidetracked when you keep doing this, and then I have to remember what I'm saying, but my point was, in 2004, we were 13 years, I'll say 11 years, right? We were 13 years past the first Intifada, 11 years past the Oslo Accords, which were supposed to have produced two states, right? If you look at every moment in history, in the history of Palestine, mm -hmm. from the British mandate forward, right? I'm saying it's a through line. I'm not going back. I know you don't like that. I'm not going back 100. I'm saying if you start there and go all the way up to now, the resistance that you're seeing from Palestinian people 
is not resistance to Jews. It's not re resistance to shared governance or shared land. It's resistance to occupation, resistance to siege, and resistance to a, a denial of their self-determination. And that's what you're saying. So everybody wants peace, Steve. The problem for me is that people want peace without justice. I don't support terrorism, but what I do support is people resisting. And if you're an occupied territory, occupied people have a legal right, not just a moral right, they have a legal right to defend themselves. And Israel does not have a right to self-defense in the areas where it is occupying people. Do you have the right to self-defense in Haifa? Yeah. Do you have the right to self-defense in Akka? Yes. Do you have the right to defense in, in Lid? Yes. But you don't have a right to self-defense in Ramallah. Okay. Why, why, why? And I get what you're saying. Okay. Legally, that, and, that, and, and, that, and that's Legally. a by the that's a by the book analogy. Um, at the end of the day, <clears throat> um, my real question to you is: Why are the soldiers in Ramallah in the first place? Why are the blockades up? Why are the sieges up? What reasons have the Palestinians given Jews at any point in the last X amount of years to want to actually be peaceful or do anything right with them? What What is Israel? You know, what what reason? What Israel have to, you know, to 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 want to actually, you know, open things. And the second they do, it's it's slaughter. Like this, you know, it's always slaughter. Me, like, and and this is why. An example. Is, Give me an example of that slaughter you're talking about. When they, when 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 they've given them something, and then they no, slaughter no, no, them no. anyway. They, they, not that they've given when, when they when they sneak in when they when they're able to get into oh, no, Israel, whichever way they can. Different than what you said. I'm okay. sorry. I take. Oh, so let's. I know how you're very, you know. I like that. Never mind that I said that. When, when, when they're able to get in, this is what they do. My, my, my thing is that I see, I see blue skies ahead for, for, for Israel and for Palestinians. I really do. Uh, you know, I'm someone that knows Hamas has to leave. The, the ideology has got to be taken out. Yeah, I know that some of the countries you around. You mean Hamas. That's my point. You, you mean all Palestinian uh, resistance groups. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Islamic Jihad. Uh, you know, no, 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 not Islamic Jihad. The PA is not Islamic Jihad. PFLP was never Islamic Jihad. We're not talking about Jihad. We're not talking about Islamic. We're talking about reason. But the point is, ultimately, you don't want Palestinians to resist. No, no. I, it's not that I don't want them. To, I don't. It's not that I don't want them to okay. resist. It's, so it's, what, what should their resistance look like? So they, they, they elected a group of 35,000 people that make decisions for them and that have indoctrinated certain things into them, into their psyches over the last 20 years. You're talking about you know, there are Gaza. So what about the West Bank? 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 People, people live, a, 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 you know, up until not, obviously not long ago, but before October 7th, ask somebody in the West Bank if they would ever want to go to Gaza, see what they say. You're still talking about Gaza. Take, take Gaza off the table for a second. The Israeli government has illegally occupied the West Bank since 1967. Mm -hmm. You're in, they've illegally occupied East Jerusalem since 1967. Mm -hmm. For much of that time, they've also illegally occupied the Sinai, Gaza, and the Golan. During those times, they've also offered but, but, multiple pieces. Do you agree with those statements I made? I don't agree that they were illegally occupying i believe that they were doing what they needed to what, do to what, keep their people safe and alive. Illegal. T so t no. t tell me tell me why it wasn't illegal because when it comes to you dying or you living legal and legal, legal and illegal don't matter anymore. okay so hold on that's why that's why that's different that's happen. different so then life what you're actually death. saying is it is it's not so, legal so, and legal. it's life and right. death so so you're not saying that it wasn't illegal you're saying that the fact that it was illegal is trumped by the fact that they felt their safety was in compromise was compromised correct not that they felt that they, they knew that it was getting compromised. That if that, that if this didn't happen, it would lead to them. It would lead to them getting okay. murdered. So it's not. A, it wasn't like a maybe feeling. It was happening so, one way or the other. So that had. So to I, I just I just want to make clear just, because your initial statement would lead someone to believe that you were disputing that it was illegal. You're simply saying that the law wasn't the priority for reasons that you, that are valid. Right. Okay. I disagree with your analysis, but we both agree that it was illegal. And that's important to note. For example, for example, if you had an illegal gun in your house. Yes. And you felt and there was someone across the street mm -hmm. assaulting your family and you grabbed that gun. Mm -hmm. It's still illegal to grab that gun. Mm -hmm. I might agree with you about your choice, but we aren't disagreeing that the cho that the gun was illegal. Right. But that becomes moot. Maybe.
But here's the point. Here's why. Here's why. Here's if it why. becomes moot, then it's moot. Then it's not even worth talking about anymore. If it, if it's moot. Yeah, but I don't concede that it's moot. That's you're saying it's moot. That's the if. It's conditional. What I'm saying. I, to you, so, so here's so the I'm thing. Saying things, you're, so I'm saying two things. I'm saying two things. You're talking to an is you're talking to an Israeli who's had people die in the conflict. So whether or not you find the point moot is a little moot to no, me. No, that's not what I said. I, I didn't say I find your point moot. The mootness of it rests upon the fact that you have an analysis of the existential danger that you face that then justifies the contravention of law. Correct. I'm I'm not. I'm not saying that I accept the danger and still think your the, the, your your point is moot. What I'm 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 disputing the very premise upon which it rests. In other words, to go back to my gun example, I'm saying maybe your family wasn't really across the street, which is different than saying I know your family's across the street. And I don't give a damn. About okay, it. so you're saying that. And, and the, you're well, not let me sure. finish. I'm telling. I, I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. I know. And no, we, okay. a, a, but I want other people to hear, even if you think you know. And the difference is the way you frame it. It sounds as if I am indifferent to Jewish danger and indifferent to you being threatened and what i'm saying instead is what history suggests and what is apparent to me is that much of the quote-unquote threat that you feel is is tied to the very thing that you don't want to relinquish in other words all throughout history what we see is um the battles the fights um the riots the resistance has never been to just Jewish people existing. It's been to people not having, to Palestinians in particular, not having access to freedom, safety, dignity, self-determination, justice. And so what the key, so the solution here is not to build more fences and i.e. or get more guns. It's to get rid of the thing that causes the resistance in the first place. The, the, in 1967, the occupation of the West Bank was illegal. And, the, and, and first of all, and second of all, had there been an actual resolution and a peace agreement that granted a Palestinian state, we would not have seen the violence that you're talking about. In other words, I'm saying, let's get to the root cause, right? You're very correct in saying all this stuff Israel did from October 8th until now it was a result of October 7th and the world isn't focused on October 7th they're only focused on October 8th till now what I'm saying to you my friend is that October 7th also is not the beginning of history that that, that I know the, that, that, the, that I, I, I'm not saying you don't know it just hear me anyway even if you think you know everything right I don't I'm just saying I know that so, but what I'm saying is, in the same way that you want the world to not forget October 7th and to, and to not just obsess about what happened after October 7th, I'm saying that similarly, you can't just focus on October 7th, or in no one, not just you personally, don't make it about you personally, that people can't just focus on what happened on October 7th, and they instead have to focus on October 6th and go all the way back to 1882 to understand why these things happen. That doesn't excuse or justify any particular act of violence. But what it does do is say, if we want a solution, people need, people need justice. Gaza has never been self, um, that Gaza has never had a single day of self-determination. Israel's always controlled Gaza, even after it left in 2006. The West Bank has been illegally occupied since 1967, East Jerusalem too. Also 1.6 million Jews living peacefully with all rights in Israel, I, but okay. Disagree with that? Okay. I could, I could, I could give you examples. I mean, but the, the the superior court judges, the lawyers, the doctors. I'm sure they have a, a thing to say about that. But that's yeah, fine. yeah. And 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 in, and in 1946, there were black senators, there were black congresspeople, there were black mayors who might disagree with the fact that America was racist, right? But it does just. I can always point to people. I could point to Jews right now in the United States who say there's no more anti-Semitism. You can't compare. Right. You, you can't compare. That's not a, that's not a fair comparison Why? at all, because. Because black people never fought or, or had an issue about whether or not they were living in the United States. Uh, th there, there are refugees in Gaza that, that are, that, you know, technically, in, in you know, most terms can't even be called refugees anymore because it's been so long. But there are, one point, there are 1 1.6 million, there are 1.6 million Arabs living within Israel that have all of their rights. Uh, and, 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 um, and there's racism in every country, Mark.
Okay, you're gonna stand here and tell me that there isn't. No, there is. Every single country experience. There, there, there is. So there is. To start, Hold on. To start listen, talking listen, about racism. Listen. It's just, it's I said there is. Again, you're arguing with a guy who said there's not racism in every country. I'm not that guy. I just said there is. I'm saying you can't compare that. I'm saying that when every time you talk about Gaza and the West Bank, that you you just you, you don't you fail to mention the 1.6 million Arab Arabs that live in Israel and and that enjoy enjoy a great life. Because, As if, because because the way your na narrative is going, it's that Israel's pushing them all out and wants them out and, and expanding. And, and there are 1.6 million living there. Let's no, not no, forget no. about those guys. But those are two different theirs. The 1.6 million in who live inside of the state of Israel who have Israeli passports have different rights than the people living in East Jerusalem. They have different rights than the people living and different passports. In fact, people, than people living in Ramallah or Bethlehem. You agree with that, correct? Yeah. So the reason why I don't mention the 1.6 inside of Israel when I'm talking about the injustices outside of Israel is because they're not the same. I'm, I, they're different people. I, wasn't, I, I was just saying to, to, to not forget them in the conversation. So, let's talk, so we can talk no, no. about them, right? It's fine. Look, look, at the end of the day, like, I, I'm more, I, I, I like where we're at in the conversation. We're at the point where we're talking about I, you know, you're you're the you're the learned scholar on on this stuff, and you know, in on your side, you're learned. You're a very learned scholar on the Palestinian side. You got no, your no, chops on the history. Got your chops on the Jewish side too. You got your chops on the Jewish side too. I know. I've I've watched you. I've listened to you. This isn't my first time. Uh, you know, I've 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 been listening to you for a long time, so I know. But we're getting to a point in the conversation where it's what's next, right? And and what does Mark think uh, the the way to peace is? And and look. For me, Bibi Netanyahu is a wartime president. Once this is over, Israel needs a you know fresh breath of fresh air, like clean page, and 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 that can bring some change as well. But for you, Mark, what do you think is the best path to peace from here? Um, there's no peace without justice, and so for me, it's what does justice look like? That's the question I ask, right? Okay. And the answer to that question is um, a one-state solution. Um, um, a single democratic state mm -hmm. where um, all people have rights, all people have a vote, all people are e equal. Mm -hmm. I do not believe in religious states, and I do not believe in ethno states. Mm -hmm. And so, and and it's easy for you to practically say this and just kind of throw out a a big gift wrapped bow and just be like one state solution after they just no I didn't say that I didn't, I didn't I didn't I didn't say that. Okay. At no so point did I say this was cool easy. Period. How long is the cool off period? At no you know? point did I say this was easy. What I'm saying is, you asked me what what the path to peace to, to peace was, right? Yeah. No path to peace okay. is easy. The, okay. It, it, the the the, the issue began in 1882. Israel was formed in 1948. It took it took even by your standards, right? 66 years to create the, the world you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. So again, I never I never said anything was easy. But you're asking me what the solution here is. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, Netanyahu and others who will follow him have said that there's no longer a two-state solution on the table. Mm -hmm. um, um, I have always argued, and I think the history would not, I will show that, I think, um, that I've always said the two-state solution was off the table and that Bibi was never going, was supportive of a two-state solution. And when you look at his interviews in Hebrew, as I'm sure you do, um, because you say you're, I'm not saying that because you're Jewish. I'm saying that because you say you're an avid follower of Israeli politics. I don't Internally, I, I speak Hebrew, but the type of Hebrew they use in, in the, it's it's a lot too complicated for me. Like I'm not, okay. I'm not there. No, so okay. I, so so then so then you check out the translations yeah. and you'll see that he very often says in Hebrew he doesn't support a two state solution. And when he's running for office or when he's speaking to international bodies, he says he's fighting for a two state solution. Again, politicians lie. He ain't the only one. Benny Gantz lied. I mean, Bush lied. I mean, we can go down and listen to any country. They lie, right? right. The point is, two-state solution has never been on the table. At the end of the day, the Israeli government is unified on one thing, and that, that is that they don't want to give any of the land back. They believe that all of Eretz Israel mm -hmm. is theirs, the West, which you would call Judea and Samaria, mm -hmm. the West Bank. East Jerusalem, the Golan. Mm -hmm. Yes, they gave up Gaza for political purposes. It makes sense. But and if you if you're honest, and, and I wrote about this in my book, which I hope you read, you know, Yitzhak Rabin and others 
I mean, nobody wants Gaza, right? I mean, Gaza was like the least desirable part of the land. Yeah. People didn't want Gaza. Even the Egyptians doubled their walls in the last couple of weeks. Anyways, can, yeah. So, it's, 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 so when we talk about um, the, the vision, Israel doesn't want to give up any land. And so okay. if Israel is going to c control all of it, right? And even now they're saying like, there's no way they're going to give up anything between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. But is this, is this the time to be asking Israel to give up anything? Yes. They're burying their dead, bro. Like, you got to wait a little. So are Palestinians. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. That would make sense if we were asking Israel to do a favor or to give up something that's theirs. It's not theirs to keep. You can't take someone's stuff and then say, well, I'm having a bad week. I can't really give it back to you now. Or I'm having a bad month or a bad year or a bad decade or a bad whatever, right? It's putting a very decontextualized spin on what's been happening over the last 75 years, but sure. Well, I, I disagree. I think the con every time I try to invoke context, you say, let's stay in the present. But the context, the, the, that's why I went back to that. Talking about the offered peace deals that they said no to multiple times, documented. Okay. If we want to talk about context. So let's talk about documented. it. So let's talk about it. The first, the, first, the, the, first, yeah. the, first, the first peace deal offer was which one? I'm, I'm not sure. Right. There was Ehud <laughs> Olmer, there was Yitzhak Rabin. Uh, there, yeah. there was a there was there was a bunch there was a okay. bunch. Fill me so 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 let's, let's. I mean, if you want to start with Yitzhak Rabin, that's interesting because it's the '90s. But if you if you talk oh, about um, if if you go back to the '20s and '30s and '40s and '2000s and '90s and it, at every moment, Palestinians have always been off. Palestinians at every every juncture have been offered deals that were unfair. Now you may say. In 2024, any of those deals would be better than what they got now. That could be true. I might not disagree with you. Okay. To start, but that doesn't make it fair. In the same way, again, if I took, if I ran in your house and took it over, and said, "Well, look, I'll give you the basement," you're like, "Well, there's no exit in the basement. Well, I'll give you the attic." Well, yeah, but there's no kitchen in the attic. I said, "Well, look, fuck it. You can't have any of it." But I'll let you hang on my couch, but you can't, you, and I'll give you my scraps of dinner. And then after 10 years of that, you go. I don't know how I feel about these analogies. But it's fine. I, I don't, I, and, and yeah, it's fine. You don't have to feel any way about them. But I mean, they do a good job of painting your picture for the what, viewers, but for me. It's, the analogy is supposed to. That's the definition of an analogy. Yeah, but for, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not the picture that, you know, it's, you know. Okay, so look, I won't, someone like my, I won't, I, okay, I won't use an analogy. I'll be even more specific. No, but you don't have to. It's fine. We got the picture with the right. analogy with the house. Rock, so, so the point is, if at the end of the day, I didn't agree to the initial split of the house, which was shitty, and now I got an even worse cut of the house. Yeah, I could say the initial split would have been better, but it doesn't negate the fact that it's that, 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 that somebody took somebody else's house. And so that is the point here. Ultimately, the West Bank does not belong to Israel by any standard. So are you... You saying, are you saying that um, in, in more than one of the peace deals, they weren't offered up to 90% of their ask? Am I, am I, is that factually incorrect to say that? It is just almost always factually incorrect. And the one time where it is remotely close to factual, what that negates is when people say that the ask was Jerusalem, you understand, you spent, you, you, I don't know, you, you, do you live in Israel? No, I've been there. No, I'm, I don't live, I live in North okay. America. I've, I've been to okay. Israel many times. You're like Canadian or something from your voice. You sound yeah. Canadian. Um, yeah. um, you, you, are you Canadian? I am. Okay, yeah. So um, giving someone Jerusalem, but giving them the Jerusalem governorate, right? right? But distinguishing and saying, yeah, but you don't have East Jerusalem. You don't have the old city. You don't have the thing that people are actually fighting over, or you have disconnected parts of the region. So that basically what Israel's always offered Palestinians is, is non-contiguous land. So what you have are what they call Bantustans, which is what we saw in South Africa. So you end up with these pockets of land that aren't connected. Why? Because it serves Israel's uh, 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 security interests. Just, so there's not one big chunk of Palestinian land. Mm -hmm. So we I mean, in this talk Talk about we could talk about the security interests the whole time because the security interests are what interests Israelis is their security. Right, but Israel. So, Israel has, but by that logic, you could say that is, the security interests and the fear of Palestinians means you should you, they could never have their own state, which is effectively what what Netanyahu said in the last month. And and that's why I say that a new government 
in Israel that doesn't believe all the things that you what talked government about before. Doesn't believe that in Israel. Whoever, whoever gets elected because the like people. Who, what party? What party the, the, in Israel doesn't believe that? The, name one party in Israel other than joint list. Name one other, party in Israel that isn't fire red pissed off that 1,800 of their people got slaughtered. Pre like, October right now, 7th. Ed, right right no, now, no. No, like again. Pre, you're not understanding my question. I'm saying before October 7th, these parties have a, pol a political position. Name one party in Israel that has a political position pre October 7th that believes that Palestinians should have a contiguous state. Name one. You're going to use words like continuous, con contiguous, and make it impossible for me to answer yes. Because of that one word, then we're not going to have a conversation. No, no, but that was right? the, no, but that was your count. Remember, I said they won't give them. You remove the word contiguous from what you just said, then there have been parties that have been open to that conversation. No, no, if no. You but, add the word. No, no, but, but continue. But you're, you're making it sound like contiguous is a poison pill in the... In, in, in the no, in no, no, no. I'm saying they wouldn't give them land that connected itself. Everything was... Everything had spaces in between it for security purposes. Right. And then you said that it's for security purposes. And then I said, then if that's the case, then they're never going to get anything. And you say, well, that's because of Netanyahu get somebody else in. And I said, well, who doesn't have No, no. Have you can't let me finish. That, the, 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 the getting Netanyahu in comes alongside with getting a, a moderate government in, 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 in Palestine. Those are, it takes two to tango, man. It's not Israel that's going to make all the you changes. And the in what ways, in what ways, in what ways in the 2000s was the Abbas government not moderate? The fact that they were doing pay for slay, is that moderate? Do you actually understand the martyrs program or are you just, it's, in all honesty, because I'm happy to, I'm happy to go down this road. Please but explain you, no, no, it. Just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It is an honest question, but I don't mean this in the way that it could sound, so I want to sure. be very clear. The martyrs program, me, as if it's actually. Let, let me ask the question. Yeah. Do you actually have you studied? Do you feel like you know enough about the martyrs program and not the talking points? That no. what heard people say. Okay, then let's but, not debate it because I, I don't feel like I know enough to know that it's wrong. How okay. about that? Okay. Is it wrong? And I would, and, and I would say. Is it wrong? Have, and, and I'm answering your question. I've, I've ne I would say that if you haven't studied this and you acknowledge that you don't know enough about it, then it's I don't feel comfortable having a conversation. That's about fine. That you, what I'll say is that when something's called the martyr program. What's a martyr? That means there's a pro that means there's a problem. What's a martyr? A martyr is is somebody who dies for their cause. And you think so? You think martyrs are inherently wrong? Was it, the way that they mar the, the way Yitzhak that Rubino, they martyr them was Yitzhak Rubino an Israeli martyr? No. Oh, well, then you and then I think there's a lot of Israelis no, no, who yeah. disagree with you. Okay, Yitzhak Rubino died. Uh, <laughs> an, an Israeli think, killed I, him. An, an Israeli killed him. Yeah, because. He was about to sign an agreement that, but don't start comparing the prime minister of Israel to people that blow themselves up at nightclubs and Sparrow's Pizza and, and all the 10,000 terrorist attacks. That, those are the martyrs that are being paid by Abbas. Please don't take the word martyr. Please don't take the word martyr and in any kind of way try and wipe it clean because the, the martyrs I'm talking about, not the definition of the word martyr, the martyrs I'm referring to, are the ones who get a stipend after they kill themselves against Israel every month under the Abbas government. Stipend after you kill yourself. Do you hear that? how that sounds? Yeah. So, I heard it. I said so it. So I kill myself and then they send me a stipend. How do I cash it? Do I get direct deposit it's in general? It's to the parents. It's to the family. What do you mean? It's the family gets the money. <laughs> I said you hear this, this is fat, Bro, this is fat. Mark, you're not going to fight me on fat. No, no, you, right? you missed, you, you're, you're so angry you missed the joke. You, you misspoke and I was oh, teasing you. You said that you. I'm sorry. You, you said that you got. You said that you you kill yourself and then get a stipend. And I was saying, how would you get the stipend in heaven? It was just a joke. Relax. Yeah. No. No. It's not relax. Honestly, if I thought it. Honestly, if I, I'm a pretty quick guy, if I thought it was funny, I probably would have looked up and laughed. No, nah, I just think you didn't catch it. But it's okay. The point okay, is, so I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. So, but but you but, can't and, take and just, for, and just, like, and just for when the I record, talk to you about when I talk to you about the PA martyrs, you cannot remove the word PA and then start describing to me the word martyr and show me that martyr does not always mean negative in all situations when no that, that wasn't what I was doing class, no 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 hold on hold on that's not what I was doing but again if you actually look at the people who have received funding from the Israel was from the what you were doing no okay. I, I wasn't you, you're not listening the, the the PA martyrs fund I'm saying that you don't if you look at who's received funding from the PA Martyrs Fund and what it's designed for and if you actually look at it structurally and you look at the documents and you look at the funding patterns you would have a different opinion, but you've acknowledged that you haven't. So I'm saying, let's not debate something that you haven't studied yet. You can study it and you can come back to me and you can I still have the same have opinion. A different opinion. 
Because because yes, unless right. you tell me, unless and here, Mark, I'll tell you. So so let me let me let me put it differently. Let me put it differently. If you tell I'm me that the willing. basis of that program is not giving someone money, in in most cases, if you tell me that the basis of that program is not paying someone's family after they've killed themselves, yes, that's uh, to go against true. Israel. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. As so a it's fact, not I'm that. Saying it is not that. It's not. I'm saying you're wrong. That. That. But it that happened. That. Though. But that happened. But that happened. Okay. So. But that happened. Right. Right or wrong? When Abbas was government, when Abbas was with his moderate government, they were paying people who killed themselves as well. This is your different little martyr program. No, I'm, I'm, they can't get accepted to that program, I, 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 but they got accepted saying. to the murder to, to the suicide bomber program, where every time they killed each other themselves, they got a stipend. Is that true or false? I'm saying that your understanding is false, and I'm saying that since you listen to me, just okay. listen to me, because okay. I, I I'm not willing to debate something that. I don't think you have sufficient understanding of. You can't use that. It's the word martyr program. I, right. I know enough to understand what that means. You can't, there's, there are no nuances that you're going to tell me okay. now. Then that are going to disagree. Acceptable. Okay. What so let's nuances see. are you, how is this acceptable in what world? Tell okay. me. What other country does that? Name me one. All right. So let, I'm going to move on name, because it doesn't sound one like. Country that, name me one country that has a, a pay for slave policy. Name me one. Okay, now, Please. Now it's true. Okay, so what, this is what I'm telling you. What happens you. when you're, mm, that's it? You can't name one? I never, you can't, are, are, you, are you not, it's not that I can't name one. Because you it, call them a moderate government. I'm trying to show you that they were not. I understand what you're saying. Moderate governments don't pay people to kill people, man. That's not how it works. And I'm telling you, for, I'm telling you yeah. that what you're calling, calling pay for slay is a misrepresentation of the program. And I'm saying, You're I'm happy to provide, listen to me, I'm happy to provide you with information that will prove my point. Please but you're do. literally arguing something that you haven't investigated. And so, I, no matter, I don't, let me, please, please let me finish, are. please let me finish, please let me finish. So no matter what I say, you're going to say, well, that's not true. And I'm going to say to you, that's not true. And since you haven't seen the actual evidence, I'm saying, I'm not trying to convince you that I'm right and you're wrong. Okay, I'm fine. saying, so you know what? I agree. I'm wrong. I didn't know. My question is, I, I, has the Abbas I, I, government... You're, you're continuing to just... We, we were talking about how to get a peace deal, and you want to talk about pay for slay. No, 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 no. You see, you, you left the peace deal no. conversation about 10 no. minutes ago, my friend. No. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. When you started talking about what Israel, what the government says and what they're not willing to do, you did... That was yes, not the, the top track of a, no, no, peace, no. of a peace deal. No, 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 no. Listen, that's not what happened. I said to you, here's what we need. You explained why that hadn't happened yet. And you said the way to get there is to get a different peace partner. Mm -hmm. And what I was saying was, still talking about how to get there, still on the same topic, how to get there was to, um, is to one, acknowledge that no Israeli government has been willing to do that. That it's not just a product, because the problem is right now, the Netanyahu government is so right wing that liberal Israelis, liberal Zionists, are pushing back against Netanyahu, which creates a narrative that the problem is Netanyahu. I'm not saying Netanyahu is not the I'm problem. I'm not, not a fan. Uh, I, I know you're outside, not. Outside of wartime, he's a wartime president. That's all he is. I'm not a right, fan. I'm not a fan. Problem is people who only are wartime presidents have a tendency to, to continue to make war. Every, Everyone loves a wartime president when it's wartime. That's just right. How so he that, makes sure it's always. A, he, so he makes sure that there's always a war. Sure, and, and that's debatable, and that's not even something that I have half an ounce of knowledge to debate on. That so is so maybe so right. the point. So the point that I'm making is that this is not a failure of a particular Israeli government. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, no Israeli government is going to give Palestinians an actual whole state. Um, and I. I can't think of one that has ever even argued that they would. Um, and so, and so, and so this, which is why this all does connect to my point of a one state solution. Um, because a two state won't ever work. Two state is off the table. It, it shows you, it, it shows you how much of a circle in circle dead end conflict this is when at the end of our conversation, which, you know, um, I, I'd love to stay on with you all night, but I think, you know, we've kind of no, no, gone I'm around and around in circles. So. We've, we've, we've ended this conversation with a suggestion by you that is just, 
right now just not feasible. And, and I, I'm talking to you about short term. I'm talking to you about how do we set the stage. There are a lot of Muslim and Jews speaking behind closed doors and having dialogue in Israel. There are a lot of, there, there are a lot of good things happening behind closed doors that the, the general public doesn't know about. Things are being done right now in Israel. To, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I know this. There are good conversations happening there. And, and there are like-minded people on both sides of the fence. Hey, can I, that, can that, I ask you a question? Sure. Do you think that all Palestinians deserve to have a vote? Yes. Do you think all Palestinians deserve to live in, in a single state? Yes. Do you think that, that, all, that all, I mean, with Jews? Yes. It is, is, look, as long as Israel is in 100% security, the same way the Palestinians are, then I, then, then I am okay with it 1 million percent. So, Everyone's safe. No one gets murdered. That's it. Like, like, and I, and, I, and, I, and I think that the only way to get the safety and the peace is to create that state, not the other way around. Everybody's saying, hey, let's get some peace and then we'll create justice. And I'm saying, no, you have to create justice and then there will be peace. That's 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 fundamentally um, the difference in how I'm responding versus how um, I think the Israeli government is responding. Anyway, Steve. Um, I got to run. Me too. I know you got to run. Yeah. I'm sure you have lots of important things to do. I see you got a lot of books back there. Huh. I know you got some reading to do. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk soon. All right, Mark. Thank you for the time. I appreciate uh -huh. it. Take care.